late here at Goma and um, a plate kind of shakes it up a bit, I guess. It uh, turns the art museum into a music venue, um, a cinema, a place to have a drink after work. So it really kind of changes people's perceptions of what they think an art museum might be. So who are you aiming to attract to the Goma? Uh, well, Uplate attracts, um, you know, 16 to 60 and everything in between, really. So it's really not an exclusive space for anyone in particular. So how are you bringing surrealism up late? Uh, well, we're incorporating surrealism, which I think is still an art movement that everybody loves, into the, um, the exhibition by uh, bringing in contemporary music. So we've got live electronic, um, you know, pop, folk, rock music and everything in between, really looking at the idea of innovation, which I think is really a strong theme still today. So we're kind of taking a bit of an interesting take on surrealism itself, um, you know, making it a bit contemporary. So what sort of vibe are you aiming to achieve in these up late events? I think we're trying to change the perception about the art museum as a boring old place full of objects and kind of removed from our daily lives and our interests actually. So we're trying to really open up uh, our exhibitions to a range of audiences and so far we've been astonished by the response actually that everyone has really loved the opportunity to come here and, and have a drink and see a film and some music and kind of incorporate it into something that they really want to do. So it's kind of helping us to make art part of people's lives so that's what we're kind of interested in. For more information where can we go for nights like these? Uh, you can go to the gallery's website www.qag.qld.gov.au and follow the links to up late. Thanks so much Donna for talking with us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Donna, you're here at GOMA during Surrealism Up Late for Raccoon Dog TV.